Hello students, welcome back to my channel. What you will really very important question is difference between co op and MQTT protocols. Part A is the same as the part B. Part B is the same as the chance. In this video, I will talk about the co op and the MQTT. We will talk about the details of the video. We will talk about the link in the description. Co op and MQTT will talk about the details of the video. So, what are the differences between co op and MQTT protocols? So, co-op means constraint application protocol. Now, this is an application protocol. This is introduced to the Internet Engineering Task Force. Co-op is designed to be a constraint environment. Now, this is a web-based protocol. This is similar to HTTP. This is a message queuing telemetry transport. That is our MQTT. This is a communication protocol. This is designed to be an IoT device. With the extremely high latency and restricted low and extremely high latency. Vocês and it is commanded by the co-op server. Logic in a depend either one information is shared in the responsible at the server on a state transfer model in a support in applications on a co-op using the characteristics of co-op. Now we have to use MQTT and co-op in a characteristics on a share game by a different side and I'm going to get the points to get them. So characteristics in the no cure. First one is UDP based. So if the TCP LA you see in the user datagram protocol on a you see in the so limited at the resources and limited network or like a this is suitable. Next, interactions in the way, HTTP like methods and co-op use in it. Like get, post, put, delete. This is multicast support. TCP kill is a UDP feature and multicast feature. That is co-op. Next, constraint at the environment is efficient at the communication. Protocol overhead is minimized. So, low overhead. Next is MQTT. MQTT is a IoT device and a communication based protocol. Symbol is a light Weight Messaging Protocol That is multiple devices We use MQTT to use This is a TCP based protocol We use the co-app and UDP based This is TCP based This is a use in the Publish Subscribe model This is a client server model Low bandwidth and low power requirements We use constraint resource constraint devices We use MQTT to data transmission So MQTT is widely used in the IoT framework in the communication in the characteristics of MQTT, it is a public subscribe model. That is, the publisher is sent to a message and the subscriber is received to a message. MQTT data packet size is minimized. So, this bandwidth constraint environment is ideal. That is, retained messages. In a particular topic, the most recent error message is retained to MQTT. If you have a client who has disconnected, you can send a predefined message, a last will message, to a subscriber. In the connection, Loss on Dai Kanya, MQTT re establishing sessions in a support team. In the Namka co op in the MQTT and difference in Oka. First one, full form, constraint application protocol, but it is message queuing telemetry transport. In the app, it is a request response model and communication type in the Varanada, MQTT is a public subscribe model. Next, messaging mode. Co op in data, asynchronous, synchronous messaging mode. But MQTT is not the asynchronous mode. Then, if you use co-op, you can use UDP. MQTT is not the TCP. If you use header size, co-op is not the 4-byte sized header. MQTT is not the 2-byte sized header. If you use co-op, REST principles are used. MQTT is not the REST principles. If you use co-op, it is not the persistent support. But MQTT is not the persistent support. That is the live data communication. If you use co-op, you can do the messages in the label. Co-op is used in the utility area network and that is a secure mechanism for co-op. MQTT is used in the IoT applications and that is MQTT is secure. In the case of co-op, the effectiveness is excellent but MQTT is low. Co-op is used in the communication model and that is one-to-one but MQTT is used in the many-to-many communication. So, this is the difference we can contribute to co-op and MQTT. There are two application layer protocols. IoT environment is built in the IoT environment. But they have different requirements. Co-op is suitable in confined situations. 
റിക്വസ്റ്റ് റെസ്പോൺസ് മെക്കാനിസമാണ് യു ഡി പി ആണ് ഇവിടെ യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് സോ ലിമിറ്റഡ് ബാൻഡ് വിട്ടും ലിമിറ്റഡ് പവറുള്ള ആപ്ലിക്കേഷൻസിന് ഇത് ഏറ്റവും സ്യൂട്ടബിൾ ആണ് ഇനി എം ക്യു ടി ടി ഓൺ ദ അതർ ഹാൻഡ് ഡിപ്പെൻഡബിൾ ആയിട്ടുള്ള ലോ ബാൻഡ് വിത്ത് കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻസിന് വേണ്ടിയാണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് ഇവിടെ ടി സി പി ആണ് യൂസ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് പബ്ലിഷ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് പാരഡിം ആണ് ഇവിടെ വരുന്നത് സോ ഐ യു ടി ഫ്രെയിംവർക്കിന്റെ അത് മെനി ടു മെനി കമ്മ്യൂണിക്കേഷൻ ഇത് ഐഡിയൽ ആണ് അപ്പൊ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് കോ ആപ്പ് എന്താണ് എം ക്യൂ ടി ടി എന്താണ് അതിന്റെ ഡിഫറൻസ് എന്താണെന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും മനസ്സിലായി എന്ന് വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നു താങ്ക്സ് ഫോർ വാച്ചിങ് വീഡിയോ ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ആയെങ്കിൽ ലൈക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ മറക്കരുത് ചാനൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടൈം ആണ് കാണുന്നതെങ്കിൽ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യണം അപ്പൊ വൺസ് അഗൈ